Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on using Pipinator Free, a new free effect for Final Cut Pro 10 from Tokyo Productions, available through Effects Factory. Pipinator Free is the baby brother of Tokyo Pipinator, the effect that brings you advanced picture-in-picture -picture animation all without the need for keyframing. Pipinator Free may be small, but it's still a powerful and useful tool. It's designed to help you with a specific picture-in-picture -picture task, taking a full-frame image, shrinking it down to a smaller size, and then restoring it to full screen. So let's see how that works. I've made two bladed edits on this clip in my timeline, which will determine where the effect begins and ends. We'll drag the effect from the effects library onto that middle section, and immediately we can see the result. So let's play that back. As you can see, the animation is all happening automatically without us having to keyframe anything. And we can make changes to the animation behaviours just as easily. Currently, we've got the image reducing down to 60% scale at the left-hand side of the screen. But we can easily choose a different option from the Framing Selector pop-up menu. How about 60% right? Or maybe 50% left? It's as simple as choosing the option you want. But let's go back to 60% left and look at some of the other options. I've got this graphic that I want to overlay once the main image shrinks down. So I'm going to apply the same Pipinator effect to it and choose 60% right. And let's play that back. That's not bad for a start, but there are a few things I want to fix. I don't want the graphic to animate out, so I'm going to choose Arrive Only from the Animation menu. And that sorted that out. I also don't like the way that the graphic and the image are overlapping each other. I don't want my graphic any smaller, but I don't want to shrink my image anymore either. So I'm going to make use of the Image Crop menu. And I'm going to choose 60%. Now there's plenty of room for both my image and my graphic. Let's see how that plays back. The great thing about Pipinator is that it does all the complicated stuff for you, so that the image crop is happening dynamically along with the scaling and the rotation and the position compensation. That's a lot going on that's all handled for you without any laborious keyframing. But you know what? I'd like to have my image larger still. I'm going to choose 80% left from the framing menu. Now there are a few things I could do to keep everything looking good. I could increase the rotation value using the rotation pop-up menu, about 50 degrees. And I could adjust the left-right position using the fine-tune horizontal slider. But I don't think I like that much rotation for this particular design. I'm going to go back to 20 degrees and reset the fine tune slider to zero. What I'll do instead is go for a much heavier crop. Let's try 40%. Well, I like the layout now, but what I don't like is the fact that my subject has got a bit lost off the edge of the frame. So I'll make another adjustment using the image offset slider and I'll shift the image over so it's framed just the way I want it. Let's see how it all plays back. As you can see, we've done some very complex animation very quickly and very easily, and we haven't had to set a single keyframe. In fact, I changed my mind a few times about the look I wanted, but each time it was a snap to get a different result. So that's about it. If you like what Pipinator Free has to offer, but you're looking for something with complete control over every possible parameter, then make sure you check out the full version of Tokyo Pipinator by downloading the free trial version from FX Factory. You'll discover the possibilities are virtually limitless, but the ease of use is just the same. No keyframes, just quick and simple menus, which means you can do the designing, and Pipinator will take care of the rest. Thanks for watching.